Welcome, welcome, my friends. Should be just another minute. Aloha, 808 Kevin K. And what is up, Wicked 207? One minute. Mr. Church and TWDC, Brad Elliott, what's going on? About to take a look at this RDA right here. I haven't even opened up and looked at yet. Here we go. Bam. friends boom guess what if you saw vape stew last night you knew we had uh, the turd man on bam coil turd bam that guy right there uh mr beecher himself and he did his best to get these rdas to us the fastest that he possibly could and it turned out that usps didn't get them to us so i got them this morning and decided that we are going to open it up and take a look today. I got two colors for you to look at. And uh, I'm pretty sure these are built already, but I may take the build out of one of them just so you guys can see it a little closer. Um, yeah. Hey. Also, we got a new liquid to try. Boom. Boule. Bolu. Bolu. Boule. Bole. Boule. What's up, Taylor the Vape Doctor? All right. Good job. Keep Keep up fighting. Let's do, let's talk about this RDA. Let's take an unboxing, a look, a first vape, first impressions. I'm excited. I hope you're excited. My name's Stan, and you have found the Tenacious TX Vapes channel. Ah. All right, so if you've ever watched a live video, live review on this channel, um, I do them about, I don't know, probably 75% of the time when I do a review, about 25% I'll do a recorded, which I'm trying to change. I've got two videos being worked on right now, one for the Barrage and one for the uh, Ohaha, the Ohana RT, RDA, RDA, RDA. And uh, I'm going to be finishing one of those up today. So keep an eye out for those videos to drop soon. What we're going to do is, what we normally do is, is we go to, I don't pay a ton of attention to chat. I will see things occasionally and I will reply when I can. If you have questions, make sure you tag me. And if I see it, I'll answer it. If I don't, I'm sorry. Uh, but I try to keep these videos a little bit short. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the website. We're going to take a look at what the cost is, what the little description is on the website. And then we're going to open it up and take a look at it up close and personal. So first and foremost, let's get this out of the way here. Let's run on over to the interwebs. Bam. On the coilturd.com website, we have Coil Turd and RDA for vaping. And you can kind of see some cool pictures here. Uh, yep, more cool pictures. Oh, there's the deck. I'll show you guys all that stuff. Uh, if you follow Coil Turd on Instagram, the dude does awesome little build pictures. Holy smokes, look at that chamber. Uh, this thing is going to be a flavor beast, I have a feeling. Look at that cool drip tip. Um, $59.99 is what they go for. That is regular retail price after years of trying tons of different rdas i give you an rda for vaping or coil turd rda whichever you prefer 
We're going to call it an RDA for vaping because that's what's on the box. 24 millimeter postless deck design, 810 drip tip direct coil airflow, 304 stainless steel, media blasted peak insulators, baggy of spare stuff. Um, it looks like there's three colors, black, stainless, and gold. I have the black and the gold to show you. And for $10 more, you can get Tricor 26 gauge, Tricor 27 gauge, Tricor 28 gauge, Tricor 30 gauge aliens, all in the respective resistances added in, which is about half price for uh, what the, they normally charge for, what builders normally charge for a nice set of coils. So let me take a quick vape and then I'm going to jump on over to the close up and uh, we're going to do the dang thing. Let me put some, I got to, I got to drip this beast of a mech mod that I'm rocking right here. Bam. Yes, they are sold out currently, but he's going to be taking care of everybody real soon. And uh, I'm probably going to be picking some up for lucidrda.com. Weather systems. Ah! Okay, here we go. Close up. Bam. Bam. Transition. So bear with me on the close up real quick. I got a new close up camera and I am doing this. Um, I'm doing this as I go here. So here we go. Here is this. All right. So I've got the Boule Bolu. He sent in three milligram. And I won't be able to see the chat while I'm in close-up mode, just so you guys are aware. But the Boule Bolu, uh, by Coil Turd, warning, this product contains nicotine, all this stuff there. Those That's out of Indonesia, I believe, is where his liquid comes out of. And an RDA for vaping. We'll look at the gold version first. This is super, super simple packaging. A white box with a logo, a logo, and that. That's all you get. On the back, you get zero except for the i uh, don't vape in a bin etc stuffs let me uh let me zoom in a little bit here and make sure the focus is right there we go so we're gonna pop this open the gold is gonna be bright holy smokes look at that let me turn this light down just a tad Woo! it's there we go so, man, the, 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 the just is too grainy without the light. Sorry, guys. Give me one sec. Here we go. So, all the, uh, whoops, rings. You get two airflow rings. You know what? We're going to look at the black. We're going to look at the black because the black's going to be easier to see. You get two airflow rings right here. One with, they've got like little notches. Little notches in there for placement. Damn it. Having a rough time with this new camera thing. Okay. There you go. You're going to have notches right there for so that it can locate the airflow. You've got two airflow holes here on this ring. You've got one airflow hole on this ring on each side. Okay. And once it's in there, it's not adjustable, I believe. We're going to take a look at it, though. So you get those two rings. You get the RDA, which we'll take a look at in just a second. And then you get a baggie of spares. I have not even had this box open, so I don't know what's in here. Uh, it looks like it is a squonk pin. Yep, that's a squonk pin. You get O-rings, you get extra screws, and you get a tool. So we're going to set that aside. And let's take a look at this guy. I'm going to pull the Jenna off of my Dillagaff Addy stand here. So first and foremost, you can see you've got the three airflow hole ring on here. Got a huge, oh my goodness, it's built. Look at that. I knew that already. I just forgot. Um, you've got a cool neural drip tip. Is the focus not right here? There we go. You've got a cool neural drip tip. Big, hon look at that, man. Holy smokes. Big honking uh, bore. So you can see how the, the ring locks there you've got a kind of uh electroplated brushed finished and then finish and then a blasted finish that's been uh coated there so that's kind of cool on the bottom you can see it says coil turd man it's not very deep engraving an rda for vaping 
And then underneath that is a serial number. Holy smokes, I got number 21. I don't know if you can see that. Anyway, it says 00021. So that's pretty cool, man. Number 21 in the black. Let's take a look here. I believe the way this works is, is you take the drip tip. Can you take the drip tip out? Well, this unscrews. There we go. That's that threading. Holy smokes, that's some fine threading. That's really nice threading. It's just really fine. Be careful not to cross thread it when you put it on there. Uh, it's got a little dome action here. The drip tip is removable. It's just... I couldn't put my fingernail in there. Very, very nice. Looks very clean. Set that aside. And then here's the ring. So depending on what kind of airflow you want, you just take the ring off. Okay, and you can put the, you see how it cuts out the middle so that you're still hitting the coil centered like that. Or you can put the single on like that so you still hit the center so that's how you're going to adjust your airflow those are the three adjustments you get you can't get any smaller than that uh, because you can't turn the barrel so we're going to take the barrel off take a look at this barrel you can see the super enclosed chamber the airflow is that's too big give me something Let's get on something to talk about. Gimme, 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 gimme. Here, we'll take the two millimeter. So, yes, the airflow is angled downward. You can see clearly all the way around. And looks good, man, looks good. Color. I guess that's where there was heat buildup right at the seam here. So, yeah, the cap looks really good. You can see the notch that locks it into place so you cannot turn this and short your barrel out on your coils. Looks good. I like it. I like it. Let's take a look at the deck. Now, here's the deck. Now, this thing, um, I'm going to pull the gold one back out, and I'm going to rip the build out of it that I'm sure is in there. But you can see where... He left notches right here so you can get to the post there. And then it's got a nice deep juice well all the way around. Really super simple deck. You can see he built really close. Now, there's something to be said about getting an RDA built by the guy who designed it. Okay, The guy who designed this RDA built this with these coils super close to the deck. You can see very close. There is space in there. You can see my finger in there. And uh, yeah, this is uh, just about perfect i would say i would build it the same way let's put this back on here let's put this back on here get back on dry o-rings bro dry o-rings that's one thing about an rda that you can't spin the cap on if the o-rings is dry you got to put it straight down and oh well got to put it straight down dog there we go just like that and you can see the space between. What I like to do to check for spaces is I like to take up something that's really super thin, like my tweezers or something like that. And I'll take it and I'll put it between the coil and just run it back and forth. And if it makes it without being obstructed, then you know you're not going to have any shorts. So there you go. That is pretty awesome. That is pretty awesome. I'm not sure what size these uh, these coil these uh, coils are they're probably three millimeter but we're going to look at the gold one real quick i'm going to rip the build out of it and uh i'll put it back in because i believe i'm going to give one of these to my patrons um one of these i'm not going to use and i'm going to give to my patrons the gold is actually really really freaking cool looking man i'm really digging this gold i don't know which one i should keep uh let's take the i'll probably keep the black one just because it goes with more of my stuff but the gold is pretty, pretty sexy. So I'm going to take this build out of here right quick. If I could get my fingers not to be all slippery and stuff. There we go. 
and I will put these exact coils back in just like the man intended. However, I want to show you guys the build or the, the deck itself. And I know Turd, Turd probably will see this video and he'll probably go, man, I spent all my time building that. Okay, now here's one little tiny issue that I'm having. You can see where this screw is not exactly lined up with this. So you got to make sure you go in directly straight. You see I'm all the way to the edge of the opening there. So it still works just fine. It's just something to watch out for so you don't strip your screws. Make sure I got all these out all the way. Because I don't want to mess these beautiful coils up. There we go. So here's your build deck. So you can see how you've got your positive on this side and your negative on this side. Okay. And you can see how the squonk hole is right there on top. So when you squonk, your juice is actually going to come up here on top, pretty much hit the coils directly and then flow over the sides to hit the, the juice well, which is a pretty dang cool way to do it. Um, and you've got your screws going in from this direction, meaning your leads are not going to twist. So yeah, I'm, uh, I like this, I like this RDA so far. We're going to take a, we're going to juice it up with some Boule Bolu and vape on it and see exactly what we've got happening. Let's get this here. Let's get this here. Make sure I got the cap on all the way you know what i'm gonna juice it up with the cap off so that that way there's a little liquid on the o-rings you can tell he fired them already for me he made sure they were running good we're gonna run check and run this all the way down so we don't burn the cotton and i'm gonna check the resistance 0.19 is what the resistance is reading and always with a new rda i always recommend where did my little key go? Yep, that's in there good. Double check it. Point two, which is kind of perfect for me. Let's put some Boule Bolu on there. Run this up. Run this up some more. Ah, the resistance came down to 0.12 when I fired it, so that sounds about right for what his uh, what his coils come out to normally. Yeah, 0.12 is what it's coming to. So there you go. Point point one. Well, it was 0.12. Now it's jumping a little bit. 0.11. All right. Ooh, this smells delicious. These coils are acting a little funky. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to give it a little strum like this. The resistance is fine. That is it. Let us put this back on it here. Like that. Nothing's touching. The resistance is the same. I'm going to use the wide open airflow to start it off. I'm going to put this back on there. Just like that. I'm going to put this sexy drip tip on there. I really like the way this RDA looks, man. This RDA looks pretty freaking killer. Um, and it's super short. Check it out. Here's an OG recoil. You can see the height difference between the OG recoil. Um, here is probably one of the shortest RDAs I have, the Bestia. It's just barely taller than the Bestia. Uh, I don't have a whole lot of other stuff. Here's the Ohana. Pretty big compar comparatively. Here's the K's. Uh, what's this thing called? This is the K's Alexander. So it's a pretty short RDA. Uh, 
for being on the market currently, which is kind of awesome. Double check that resistance. It has not moved because I am going to run this on a mechanical mod. Basecam, bam. All right, guys, let me check the chat real quick. It puts the lotion on the skin. What I need, do I have, do I have uh, what's it called, ashy fingers? I have a Blade of God mod RDA v 510 pin is very protrudy. I should have showed you guys that you can't see, but it is, it's, it's fine for a hybrid RDA in my opinion. Well, yeah, it's fine for a hybrid RDA in my opinion. And plus it's 24 millimeters, which looks super sexy on top of this mod. I have a 30 amp 20 S 20 S battery that's going in 30 amps and drop this back in there. Bam. And I have checked the battery wraps, make sure that they are not. All right. Now I don't suggest you run a resistance as low on a mech mod, unless you have proper batteries and you know what you're doing. Um, yeah. Know your, know your ohms law, know your battery amp limits, and make sure you understand how resistance is affected. Here we go, or how resistance affects those amp limits. Here we go. Holy smokes, that's good juice. I'm going to say that uh, these coils are pretty nasty and uh, this RDA is pretty conductive, honestly. That's that's rocking and or rolling. Let's do a couple. Let me vape on it for just a second and then I will give you my official first impression, final thought, etc. kind of thing. Check this out. Vinyl and vapor. Yes. Love this hoodie, bro. All right, let me tell you, this liquid is fire. I'm not a banana guy. Holy smokes, bro. This banana, it's sweet. You get a lot of the, you get a lot of the breadiness flavor out of it. It's like when you're eating banana bread that has like banana chunks in it. Have you ever had the banana bread that has a little banana chunks in it? And you get like the bite that has the little banana chunk in it. But most of it's bread and you just a little chunk. That that is what this bread tastes like. It is or bread. This juice tastes like it is fire. First impressions. Building on it. It's not the easiest. Um because there's just an RDA out on the market that I'm gonna show you guys soon that has killed the game when it comes to easy building. But it is an easy build RDA. Um it's just your basic postless screws from the side easy uh he he had the coils really low to the deck which is how i would do it too considering this thing is so short i mean this thing is short and i love the shortness of it uh the airflow is smooth with the dual airflow let me put a or i'm sorry with the triple airflow let me put the dual airflow on it i will tell you this if you're a purge guy like i am you'll learn real quick it's one of those that you don't want to purge into your face because it does have the angled airflow. So just be aware of that. I just put the dual the dual airflow holes on there, two airflow holes. Just make sure you got those airflows posting, pointing sideways so they go out. A little bit more restrictive a little bit more flavor. Holy crap, this thing is flavorful af. This RDA is extremely flavorful. I'm going to have a lot of a lot of fun with this RDA over the next couple of months. Uh, I can guarantee you I'm going to be using it that long, if not longer. Uh, this thing is a sexy little RDA. It's about the price you would pay for somebody who's not doing a compilation with... Um, a company he's doing it this is his rda this is coil turd 
coil turd funded, coil turd built, coil turd designed. Well, not built, but coil turd designed, um, coil turd funded, coil turd distributed, all that business. Support the man if you want to. $59. Um, yeah, I'm into it so far. This, remember, this is just the first impressions. I have not been using this except on this video. Uh, I was too excited to get it out and play with it. But I'm really excited about this RDA for first impressions. Uh, I hope you guys check it out. You guys stay safe. You guys have a fantastic rest of your weekend. Thanks for hanging out in chat. And uh, remember... Whoa! I put the single ring on there by accident. That was restrictive. Vape on, friends.